It's going really well. We, uh, the weather's been a great change for us, a uh, great environment, uh, opportunity for our team to grow closer. And, uh, you know, we get weather like this, and it, it just invigorates our guys in the middle of camp. Are there any lessons from last uh, camp that you're able to implement this, this time around? Uh, you know, uh, just, you know, bring your air mattress. <laughs> uh, don't be, uh, so be expect the un unexpected here uh, in terms of, uh, you know, just being out in the open right now. So, uh, but no, I mean, everything's been pretty consistent from uh, just being here a second year. We've been able to adapt a little bit and clean some things up in terms of our operations. So it's been, it's been really good. Because Kenny talked operation wise, it is kind of hard to coach football, you know, mm -hmm. one field, meeting rooms, not like they're back in the Valley. Um, how, how much prep goes into kind of that? Yeah, you know, what's funny is, is uh, I've been, you know, I've been coaching a while and, uh, I mean, this is, I mean, first probably 15 years of, of my career, 12 years of my career was, you know, was not very, a whole lot, a uh, big departure uh, from this. But um, yeah, when you have all the technology and you have all the resources back on campus and you have such a great, you know, setting that you have everything that you need, you know, to get your team prepared. Uh, when you're on campus and you come out here, you got some things you got to adapt a little bit, but it, it's good. It's good to um, have to uh, manage the process a little bit different and uh, puts the onus on us to be a little bit more organized in terms of how we're teaching and, and the information that we're getting our guys. So um, it's challenging, but at the same time, it, it's, it's fruitful for us. Kenny was, talk I'm sorry. Kenny was talking about improvement in the linebacking court. Can you kind of talk about that? Yeah, we just have, we have, you know, we got a lot of experience there. Um, you got a lot of guys who've started a lot of football games. I'd love to do a study on how many guys have actually started games, you know, at that position for us at linebacker. So, um, you know, you got five or six guys, and then we have some talented younger guys that that are going to push those guys who've played so much. So just that experience and uh, just that comfort level of being out on the field, and uh, it, it's really going to show once we get to game one more than any, any time else. What, what about Keyshawn Elliott in particular? Well, his leadership, his quiet confidence, um, he really does, you know, you don't see many guys, a lot of guys like to say, and it's kind of a deflect mechanism that I lead by example, but he really does. Um, he's the first guy in the building every day. Um, <clears throat> he just has a process that he manages to get prepared, um, and it really sets the tone for the rest of the room, um, and it really, it, 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 it makes the competition in that room uh, that much tighter. What kind of progression the, have you seen from Cyrus from spring practice until now? Yeah, I mean, he's just learning the learning the defense. The other guy has a lot of experience, played a lot of football. Uh, he's a natural football player. He's very instinctive. Uh, he's great off the field and in the locker room. Really never has a bad day. You know, he's not up and down in, in his uh, maturity or emotional level. So just his consistency, uh, you know, that, that's just something that just brings just – more personality, more depth, more just more strengths to our linebacker room. What have you seen out of Jeff Clark? He seems like a guy like he's always in tune and he's pretty happy all the time. And yeah, yeah, he's a character. He's, he he's a lot of fun to have in the locker room. Um, you know, he brings this kind of a lightheartedness to the to the room, and um, um, you know, but he, he's a he's a he's a really good player, and he does some really really good things. And you're talking about a guy who's played a lot of football in his career, and. It's funny, I was just talking to him after practice, and he's really hard on himself when he makes mistakes. And uh, he's just like, I'm a fifth-year senior. I should be making those. And, you know, and it's, and it's really, I keep telling our defense, it's about, it's about progress. It's not about perfection. It's about growth. Uh, and, you know, if, if you're expecting perfection, I mean, there's no, uh, you, you know, there's nothing that will kill joy more than expectations. You know what I mean? So I just say, listen, just have fun, guys. Uh, have fun and uh, and continue to progress and and you're going to get to where you're supposed to be. How are you doing with just uh, taking the ball away or getting your hands on balls and things that you want to be able to do there? Yeah, we're doing a great job. We've we've, we've uh, you know we've really been aggressive attacking the football. Um, not so much today. Uh, we, we 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 had kind of a down day in terms of getting the ball out. Um, but you know it's just an emphasis that we make and we count them. We're, we have competitions with it uh, daily and. Over the over the course of camp, so the guys can see how many attempts they've had, how many takeaways, how many times they've actually got the ball out, or actually recovered a fumble, or got an interception. So, um, trying to find different creative ways to emphasize the importance of not only tackling and the fundamentals and learning the defense, but ultimately our job on defense is to keep people from scoring and getting the ball back to the offense. Who's doing good in that? I was just going to ask that Keith question. Abney or Alfred or somebody. You know. Um, KB on Thunderbird, you know, really? just recently, last three practices, uh, he's been a turnover machine. Um, you know, we've had several guys just, you know, we had uh, Tony and Kuba have a, have a pick today. 
Uh, I know we had another interception today. It slips my mind who had it. But yesterday we had Shamari Simmons. Keith Abney had one today. Um, great one in the red zone here. Um, thanks for a reminder. Um, and uh, yeah, so we're just, you know, we have a lot of guys. And, you know, we're not going live either. I mean, we, we've had several times we've gotten to the quarterback. And when you start hitting the quarterback, bad things happen. And, uh, you know, our, our defensive line is doing a, doing a really good job of uh, continuing to develop their pass rush and getting in the backfield and finishing on the quarterback. And, and these quarterbacks, you know, just, uh, you know, they have ability to improvise. And having those type of quarterbacks and getting those looks every day is invaluable. Appreciate Thanks. it. Thanks. Okay.